G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're taking a look at the Helicontex Surplus Line Poncho. Now I've had this one for, oh blimey I can't remember, for about at least four or five years this one. And it hasn't let me down yet, so there's a first positive with it. Total size when it's opened up is 210 centimeters long by 145 centimeters wide, weighing in at a total weight of 487 grams in the stuff sack, and it's made out of a ripstop polyester. That's all the specs you're going to need. Now we're going to go through all the rest and show you. So let's get it out. Could have done with a little tag to help pull it, but that's nothing. So it folds up nice and small. It can go even smaller if you want to. But as it stands, fold it up and that will go in the pocket of your pack. It's like I've got the Tasmanian Tiger Ray Mark III here. And that sits in there with room to spare, nice and easy. Now before I get started much deeper into this and showing you what's what, a lot of people have got different opinions of this about the waterproofness. Now it is a waterproof coating on it and we've got seam sealed with taped. So it's going to be waterproof from the uh, set as soon as you actually buy it. But a lot of people have been saying that the shoulders start letting water through. Now. The reason for that I've noticed is when they're wearing it, they've got the pack on the outside of the poncho, not on the inside. Now the poncho is big enough to fit over a backpack. So I've got the 52 litre here, the Tasmanian Tiger Raid Mark II, uh, Mark III, sorry. So I'll quickly show you what it looks like with the backpack on. Now, that's the backpack. So. 52 litre. And that's a poncho over the backpack. Now that comes past the pack by, what's that, about five or six inches that comes past the pack. Now my height make a bit of, may make a bit of difference, I'm only five foot six tall, but all in all with this pack, whether you're six foot, I don't think it's going to make very much difference. You are going to end up with plenty overhang here. But like I said, it's about, feels a bit about five or six inches past the pack. Let's get the pack off now. But like I said, it's made out of a polyester. Waterproof coating on it. Let's find some seams, which will be around the hood. And it's all tape sealed around the stitching of the hood. And going back to where in the backpack on the outside and the pack on the inside or underneath this is when you've got your pack on the outside, it's going to be rubbing on the shoulders of the poncho. So that's going to be rubbing the waterproof off. So it's going to eventually start letting water in. Now anything that is uh, coated in a waterproof, the waterproof just ne does need to be, um, let's say, redone every now and then to keep it at peak performance. But if you've got the pack underneath, it's going to last a lot longer before you need to do that. So that's the reason I can see why people have mentioned this lets water in, is because they're wearing it underneath their pack. 
condensation from wearing the poncho. Yes, if you wear it under the pack, that's going to be holding it in. So you are going to build up condensation on the inside. Wearing it over the pack, you're going to get more airflow. Now when I wear this on the top over the backpack, I get that airflow coming through and I haven't had much, if any, condensation issues. I think I felt a little bit on a wet cold morning and when I was leaving Mount Wells. But that was about the only time. On the inside of this one, which makes it even more comfortable to wear, we have a rope and two grommets. So what that enables you to do is when you're wearing it, you can pull it tight so there's less material flapping at the front. So I'm going to hold this around my back. That's touching at the back, but we've got the room here. But soon as I tighten this up, And do it without knocking. There it is. You can see where it's pulled the material in there. Again, hold up behind my back, and there's less movement. But you do still have the material there, which is allowing the airflow. So that's going to also reduce condensation. Halfway up each side, it sits on the shoulder. Got these grommets here, you, so that they can get used at the moment. I've got a bit of bungee, where I'll just put that on my ridge line to give me a bit of shade. So that can come off nice and easy. You don't need that on there for now. Take this one off too. Press studs, one, two, three, four, down either end. And another grommet on each corner and I'll be showing you what these will be for in another video so again back to one two three four press studs either side now what I like about these ones are which you don't get on a lot of the actual hiking ones we can cross this over and connect it to the opposite side so you've got your male and female or your inny and outy of the press stud so not only can you do it up coming down the side but you can do it up around the back of you if you want to let's do one up so that's one around the back of me so now that's holding that in place and I've still got all this here to cover my pack There is holding at the back. Does restrict your arms a bit. But it's a handy piece of kit to have. Let's loosen up this inside one now. Okay, that's back open most of the way, still holding a little bit. Now, if you're going to be wearing this for rain cover, I'll do the first one, second one, and third one at the bottom. I'm leaving the top, the uh, higher press stud here open, and I'll show you why. Press that one. Press that one up. So when you are wearing it as a sleeve, you've got a lot more ease of movement. Where if you do the next one up, as you can see, it's fairly tight. It is possible and it does work. So it still works. I'll do the same on this side.
that that works nice but with that one done up it starts to pull here as you're moving but if you just have the second one done up let's do this one up here the second one over this side you get more movement and less restriction here now your arms put my arms out you can see it's just above my wrist by a couple of inches so if you're a taller person it's going to be a bit further depending on how tall you are so your sleeves are going to get a bit wet if you want to but what people don't tell you is if because of the size of these in the room you have got even using walking poles <laughs> you've still got all that movement so you've got full movement with your arms on the inside of the poncho so your sleeves won't be getting wet the only time you'll need to get them out is if you need to do something with them much more about this at the moment oh the hood got a nice line lock there stays shut undo it the hood comes undone easy to use now over my face I'm not pulling it all the way forward that's just the head up so when I can close it down yeah I'll show you where it comes to it comes to here my nose and I normally wear a baseball cap because I wear glasses so I've got a baseball cap underneath which holds that out of my way and it stops my glasses from getting wet but without a baseball cap I'll do that off a bit it still holds it about an inch in forward of my glasses so that stops a little bit of the rain getting down on there but keeps you nice and dry and that can go even tighter if you want to that size and we've still got more to do up if you want to now we've got plenty of material here so if you wanted to and you're wearing this we could do that up have it over here your buff or your, your neck nice and high and it helps keep the wind off your neck it keeps the heat in so that's the helicontex poncho now i do like these I, I've, like i said i've worn this one now for about four years actually maybe a bit more because i wasn't making the videos when i bought this so that's over four years ago now like i said i've had one Point aware I've had a bit of condensation but nothing serious but I always I that yeah actually that was when I actually wore it under my backpack one uh, morning trying it out which I didn't get on with it feels a lot better with the actual poncho over my backpack because it protects the pack as well as me the amount of water that I got on my pants at the back just wasn't that much the the actual poncho stopped a lot of it coming down and going on my pants plus I also carry uh, wet weather pants with me when I know it's going to be bad but all in all poncho in the situations I use it is much better than wearing a normal hikers um, anorak or rain jacket which I get a lot more perspiration inside so I end up wetter wearing it then I do this and with wearing this I'm drier inside than if I wore a normal hikers jacket so again that's the helicontex poncho on their surplus range big thumbs up from me thumbs up so that I've actually got another two I've got a green one which goes with my adaptive green packs that I use yeah, there's one there there's another adaptive green one there another adaptive green one there uh, I've got a blue one similar color to this small day pack 
and I've got this multi-cam one which I'll carry in my RAID backpack. So if you've enjoyed the video and you're not already a subscriber, please go down below and click on the subscribe button. Click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. Remember, hit the thumbs up button, the like button.